Hey guys, it's John from the Busycast. I'm joined by Martin Waller, who is a Golden Demon winner uh, four times. So we've got a series of seven videos coming up, uh, showing off all these models, talking about them, and uh, I'm also going to ask about like painting and sort of influence what, uh, why those models have been made. Um, and then we also have a battle report, so there's a lot of content, so I'll put it all into a playlist so you can watch it all, but make sure you check them all out because the videos are going to be awesome. So we're starting out with an Rack and Rock Spider, which yeah. is... This is the first model you entered into a to a Golden Demon competition, right? Yeah, into, into any painting competition. Um, I think I've been in the hobby, or back in the hobby, two years by that point. Um, saw the Iraq and Rock when it was released, absolutely loved it. I thought I need, need that in my life. Um, and then, yeah, the, the rest is history. Uh, I think it took 14 months, I think, overall, um, to get it finished. Um, but, um, but yeah, I think two weeks out, I decided that I'd assembled it all wrong because I'm a bit of a, a bit of a, a coward when it comes to things. I want to sort of put everything together, and the reality is it's going to make it a nightmare for painting. Mm. Uh, so um, yeah, I ended up putting it in the freezer to make it all brittle, and then snapping all the legs off uh, two weeks out. So luckily, the, the snaps were quite um, were quite sort of clean, so I could glue them back on, and no one no one noticed. But yeah, first first ever painting competition. Uh, so yeah, it went went really well. What does it feel like to, for that to be your first competition? What what did you win with that one then? That was bronze in what was then Warhammer Fantasy Monster. Okay. Um, yeah, I, don't, I didn't sort of believe it at the time. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, you sort of turn up on a day and it's got the whole sort of scale of the event. You know, this was back when it was in Birmingham. You know, you've got sort of thousands of people there, um, and then you sort of your stuffs spinning around on big plasma screens next to the, or the cabinets and all that sort of thing. So yeah, it was a bit of a surreal experience. And then, you know, I, I sort of turned up just you know, from a hat in the ring and thought, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But yeah, it's, um, yeah, it worked out really well. Cool. And um, yeah, and obviously to get, you know, a second award on the, you know, on the same day, it sort of blew my mind. Yeah. Yeah, we're, 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 we're good, we're good. What about, in terms of painting that then, were there any <coughs> unique things you had to do or cool, what cool features are there on the model, things that you like about it? Um, I think this this was painted before I sort of got into airbrushing and stuff, okay. and so this was painted 2010, 2011, so um, yeah, before I had an airbrush, everything, you know, sort of going from red to black on the legs, for example, is, is all just done by brush, um, just repetitive sort of layers and glazes and, and stuff like that. Um, so that sort of took the, the majority of the time. Um, also, the, the problem I had with the uh, the main body, sort of the fleshy parts, uh, started off coating the um, the flesh with sort of like the same sort of box art colours. Okay. Um, and it sort of didn't really work for me. Uh, the shades didn't work, and the, the whole thing just sort of fell off. So I completely changed it a couple of weeks to go uh, into the, the sort of green that it is today. So yeah, it was um, it was difficult, and then sort of trying to get you know, the main focus was the eyes. Well, I think it's six. Yeah, uh, six eyes at the front. Uh, so trying to get those done because that was going to be the, the main focus of the uh, the model. Mm. Uh, and then each individual goblin took maybe about you know, a couple of days. Yeah. On, uh, on each one, but um, but yeah. So I tried to make each individual goblin a, a sort of a, a character in itself. And then obviously the um, the Arachna Rock was um, you know just sort of basically the stand for the for the goblins really. Yeah. Well, um, if you. I'm guessing every time you paint a model, you try new things and that. Did you learn anything from that model? Um, what was the thing you took away from painting that? Yeah, yeah. Um, sub assembly is probably key. Yeah, that's the, the main thing. Um, you know, with, with the Ragnarok because it's so fiddly. Um, you know, I had to, in the future try and avoid the, the you know the temptation to um, you know sort of assemble it before. Uh, before painting it, so yeah. If I was to go back now, you know, I'd sort of make sure all the legs were off, uh, and then just sort of paint the main body, and then go into the, you know, from from there. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so that's it. So that's the first one that you entered into a competition, and also uh, and a bronze award, which is awesome. Um, so this is a part of a series of videos, as I mentioned at the start. So make sure you watch them all. If you can like, comment, subscribe, that is amazing. Um, like everything's been going up at an increasing rate and it's awesome so thank you very much guys. Anyway check out the next video and also check out our battle report.